Hey folks, so uh, today we're going to take a look at some vintage uh, British handcuffs. This is the uh, Hyatt's model 1960. These were actually the very first uh, swing-through handcuffs uh, issued to uh, police in Great Britain. And they actually, for their age, uh, are pretty nice. But uh, they're a bit behind the design of Peerless, which had already been around for a good 40 years or so. Um, but these are fairly unique in one very important respect, and that is the actual key. If you notice, uh, the keyhole is perfectly round, as is the key. Uh, what happens is the key just has this notch or pair of notches cut in it. And if you look very closely in there, you can just make out uh, where there's an indexing bar. And so you just insert the key like that so that it fits over the, uh, the indexing bar. If it just turns freely, if you're doing it wrong. Uh, if I turn it uh, towards the chain, it opens. If I turn it towards uh, the ratchet arm, it double locks. And if I turn it to midway between the two points, then it is just single locked. So, seems really simple, and it's a nice design because you don't have to go fiddling around with uh, poking the little tiny tip on the back of the key into a tiny hole on the side or fiddling around with anything else. Uh, the key that opens it is the key that locks it, and that's it. Uh, the only problem with it is that, well, since all you have to do is just really push this bar around to turn the uh, locking cam, because the way it works is actually it has these two plates in there with a uh, sort of oblong cutout in the middle that fits around this uh, rotating cam, and when the cam is pushed towards the uh, ratchet arm, it pushes those plates into, into the ratchet cuts so that uh, they cannot uh, spring back out of the way to allow the uh, arm to swing through. So do that. Now, do that, and if you're in them, all you need is a stiff bit of metal, like a bobby pin or something, to prod it until you can swing the handcuff out. Again, that's just pushing in and levering a bit to get it to rotate. So you can see why uh, these were not particularly popular. There were a few other reasons, um, partly because officers were still used to carrying the big old style uh, manacles or uh, usually they used a, a variation on the tower handcuff, which provided some adjustment, but it wasn't a swing-through design, and they had a screw lock and things like that. But um, this at least got uh, the British police forces uh, familiar enough with swing-through designs that they did eventually adopt uh, later models, the uh, Hyatt uh, 1970 and later the uh, 2003, or uh, as it's better known, the speed cuff. Um, but just a cool little piece of history. And uh, another interesting thing about them is if you can't find the key for them, because these have been out of production for uh, a good 50 years at this point, and uh, the factory, well, the the company's been bought and moved its factory and 
so on, so you can't really get original keys for it anymore. If you're really lucky, you might find a set with an original key. Um, but you can make your own very cheaply uh, using just some quarter-inch brass tubing and a washer. And basically, you just cut it down to inch, inch and a half. Uh, you cut out a notch in the side here. And uh, then just to help it along, two small notches uh, 180 degrees apart up here. And then you can just crimp that down and maybe use some JB weld to fix that in. And you will now have a perfectly good working key for less than two dollars in parts. So, uh, until next time, uh, when hopefully I'll have some more cool stuff to show you, uh, have fun and happy picking!